Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator, the original. And I do want to tell you guys, I just had a little bit of a mishap. One of the things about being a person that does videos and uses recording software, one of the software that is installed in many of your computers is called Shadowplay. It's part of GeForce, whatever they call it, RTX. It's a great, great recording software, but the only thing you have to be very, very careful, and I've had this happen to me in the past, but it can switch microphones on you. It can do it. <laughs> I don't know why it does it. And it hasn't happened with any consistency, but it will sometimes switch your microphone to the one that's built into your computer, not the ones you're using on your headset or whatever you happen to be using. You could be recording and you're not picking up on your good microphone at all, even though it sounds like it is through your headset. And when it does that, you sound super, super quiet. And I had a whole bunch of footage that I recorded here and I've basically lost it. Uh, <laughs> that was really frustrating because I caught some new species while I was at it. I happened to catch, let me go ahead and show you here, guys. I managed to catch... For this particular location at Topo Lake, I did catch the flathead gray mullet, which I never caught before. I caught um, this new kapopo, giant kokopu, 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 which is only native to New Zealand. Apparently, they're actually kind of endangered, I believe. I managed to catch uh, some personal bests. Uh, the brown trout and the rainbow trout and didn't get to keep any of it all the footage the recording was terrible the sound was horrible you could barely hear me that's because I was only using the microphone built into the computer yeah you gotta be careful guys if you're gonna do this check for that if you're gonna use it or use some other kind of software but still be careful your sound you never know what your computers are gonna do but since I lost all that footage, I thought, well, I could go through all that. And, well, honestly, I learned a bunch of stuff in the process. And one of which, if you go to the map here, in position 6, which is where I am right now, the new species are found right in this area. Right around in this little bend. Now, in position 3, that's where the long fin eels are found. And you can get a boat and go out to the open area here, not too far. And you can get some big, big Chinook salmon. Just letting you guys know, because I don't know if we're going to have time to do all that. But one of the things I wanted to show you, this is a new thing that was just added. An update just popped today for this game, for me. And if you look in there, I'm going to show you where these fish are. Most of these are small. They don't look small, but these... These particular species, they like small hooks. So small that this, I believe, on here is a 12. That's the smallest you can get. But that's important, guys, because they now have a hook size indicator. Now, they sort of had one in the past. You have to throw it in there and say, the hook you have does not match any of the species found in the area. That's as good as you got. So you had to sit there and kind of guess and play around with the hook sizes, go a little bigger, go a little smaller, and then it might wait a while and tell you the same thing again. No, this tells you right off the bat. Either tells you it's too big, too small, or proper 
And that's what you're looking for right there, guys. Let me show you here, guys, real quick. This is great. This is a you don't have to use this. I mean, for those of you who like just to fish, you do not have to use this. I like to use it because I don't like to waste my time. If I've got the wrong size hook, I want to know it. But I am using wax worms here, and these new species love. See, uh, your hook size is proper right there on the bottom. You can wait a little longer. Basically, what that's telling you is that you're not wasting your time. Just be patient, and the fish will eventually come up and bite. And here we go. And I think we got one of our new species here, guys. Yep, this is a giant cocopu. Co 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 Cocopu? <laughs> I can't say that. Cocopu. Cocopu. I hope that's right. I'm sure my friends in New Zealand, Bunny and Possum, are going, Oh my god, he's butchering it. <laughs> hey, ladies. Nice seeing you. Nice talking to you. Yeah, I just butchered your, your, your fish's name. Yeah, this species is native only apparently to New Zealand. Oh, shoot. And this one's a lot bigger than the first one I caught, so that actually might be a good thing. So, even though I did lose a lot of footage, a lot of that footage was me just catching some of the same species I have caught in the past. This time, now there's a good representative species. They're not huge, though. He's two pounds, and I think two and a half kilograms, which would be around six, seven pounds, is about as big as they get. But they're a very pretty little fish. I am going to go ahead and get a picture of him. But he is the biggest one I've caught so far. I'm probably supposed to release them in real life, but yeah. <laughs> Another thing I found out, guys, is there are boats. Last time I was here, I did not see a boat. I'm going to have to check the video. I mean, either I was blind or I just completely missed it, but they have bass boats out here. So if you want to go up and down these rivers, you can do so. Or if you want to go out into the open area, you can do that too. So it allows you to do a little bit of exploring where you normally can't. Now, I'm not going to get on the boat this time, but we're going to try to keep this short and simple. Also, I found a little lake over here that you can fish. Oh, well, I'm not walking that fast. Let's see. Let's see. When I was fishing in here the last time, I did catch some tench. Why am I still walking? Okay, got some weird stuff going on here. What is the deal? Ever since I got out of the boat. Thinks I'm walking. Hmm. What we'll do is we'll... It still thinks I'm on the boat. That is weird. Okay, that uh, <laughs> that was weird. It still thought I was on the boat. Okay, I found a glitch. I found a glitch. Ha 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 ha. That was cool. <laughs> What's up with that? Yeah, only thing I saw over here were tench and actually koi fish are over here. Let's see if we can see any of them here. Yep, there's a few, and this hook should be about the right size. Might be able to get one. They do love these wax worms. The wax worms seem to be a very popular bait for the Lake Topo. Almost everything goes for it. But the main. You see, your hook size is proper. Again, we know. If it had been too big, it has said your hook size is too big, you need to go with a smaller hook. 
If it had been too small, same thing. It says your hook size is too small. Here we go with the koi fish, guys. Check them out. There you go. Now, they're not monsters like on the Japan map, but they're... Decent little fish. Why in the world there's a koi on a, this little lake? I don't know. Unless somebody just decided to start their own little koi pond and it went a little nuts. Anything's possible, I guess. And there you go. Nice little koi carp. 2.87 pounds. Pretty little fella. He's got kind of a hump, doesn't he? Yeah, another thing I did notice is the trophy room does not seem to be showing these species, which is kind of troublesome in my opinion, because I caught a rainbow trout that exceeded anything I'd caught before from here, and he didn't show up, nor did the brook trout, and none of these new ones did either. So that's something the developers need to work on, place to put those new fish. Well, anyway, let's go back to the map. Anyway, I am at 6 right at the moment. Now, one thing I wanted to check, I talked about it when I recorded before, but we lost it. I wanted to see if there's a way to get to this little lake here. I don't know if there is, but probably the easiest way would be to go to position 1. I don't see a boat. Uh, I think that's just... Is that the lake I saw earlier, or is that a different... No, I think that's just water. I wanted to see if you could get to that little lake that I was just pointing out. So I guess you're going to have to huff it to get there. I don't know where all the, the boats are located, but they seem to be on the river. And there is one fairly close to the mouth of this big lake here so you can get a boat out here if you can't find a, a boat on this side of things there is a way to get out here with a boat so you may have to travel a little bit but I'm gonna head up here and see if I can't find that lake that I saw because I think this is it right here yep this is it this is it. Well, let's see what's in here. Is there anything in here? Yeah, there is stuff. Not a lot, though. I think we might be able to get to it a little bit better from over on this side of things. I just... Ooh, it's telling me I'm leaving the fishery. Ah! Yep, it kicked me out. All the way back to the beginning. Jeez. Okay, well, you can't do that. <laughs> okay. Fine. Be that way. Yeah, this is, I think, position three. And as you can see, those big, big fish right there, those are Chinook salmon. And believe it or not, as big as they are, a size six hook is just the right size for them. I think we I think it's where we are. Honestly, I'm not sure. Hold on. It sure looks like position three. Now position five is at the mouth of another little rivulet. As you can see, as it empties out right there. I didn't really get a good look to see what was over here, but I would imagine it's more trout species. Yep. Looks like more of the same. And I think that's primarily what you guys are going to be catching. And the tench seem to be found in the more swampy areas, which is natural for their species. Like area 7 here. This is all kind of like a swampy area. Let's come over here and see what we can 
What are those? Are those koi? I think think there's some big ass big big old koi's. Yeah. Water might be too shallow here. I don't know. He might still go for it. I don't know. Let's see what happens. It's proper. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to see a tinge or two, maybe a rud. That's another species you can find here. I have not seen the rud yet. We've caught rud before in plenty of other maps, but they're supposed to be here too. It may be too shallow, guys. How far out? This water is real shallow. Look at this. Okay, now we're talking. Let's see what we got out here, guys. Oh, look at the little fella. Come on, there you go. That is one of those eels. One of those long fin eels right here. Tiny little fella. Not even a pound. But we got him. Let's see if we can't get another one here. Lots of little species. I do see some tench. I thought he was going to go for that at that time. We're good on hook size, and there's a tench. I was hoping we'd get one. Nice little tench. Hey, it's a record for me though, 1.18 pounds. Yeah, when I first came here, I didn't really know what I was dealing with. We got some fairly big ones out there, though, too. Now, those look like Chinooks. Let's throw that out a little ways. See if we can't get something else's attention. Now, we do have a 12 hook. Or, is that what, yeah, we got the 12 hook. So, the bigger ones may not be interested in this. So... But if you're going to go for the bigger ones, I would suggest upping it to about a 6. Oh, that I haven't caught yet. It's a brook trout. I've caught the browns, not the brooks. So this is where they are. I was wondering, little brook trout, they are pretty little fish, aren't they? New record. I guess I haven't caught any before. Or if I did, they were seriously small. Get another good look here. You're pretty much going to go between these two sets of hooks. Everything else is going to be too big. It's just going to tell you, you're, you know, your hook size is too big. Your hook size is too big. I'm going to equip this, and I'm going to go with a 6. And if it isn't going to catch these fish, it will not waste time, but it will tell me without hesitation that my hook size is too big. As long as there is a big enough species, it says it's proper, so we're fine. And there's
there's a rainbow. So that's what's swimming around here that's kind of big. Alright. A lot of rainbow. That is probably... That and the Chinook, the main species you need to focus on for, for grinding your XP. Boy, it's a big fella. I didn't really expect to see such a big rainbow out here. Ooh, he's going to try one of his... Yeah, he was starting to fight real hard near the end there. Yeah, see, he's a decent one. 3.92. Not real huge, but... Yeah, the rainbow trout here look a little different than they did before. They didn't... They've got a lot more red on them, it seems like. Let's throw that one out there, way, way, way out there. And you can do bottom fishing, but again, you need to make sure your hook sizes are set. Yeah, see, your hook size doesn't match the size of the fish in this area. Consider using a smaller hook. See? There you go. Just hit, that happens, hit Q. Then go to your settings here hit your hook sizes try taking it to an eight see if that's gonna work you can't get any smaller than a twelve there are no tens that I'm aware of so once you get to an eight you're gonna have to completely switch the hook to the twelve if you still have the same problem there we go. And there's a brown. So it looks like we've got all put the Chinook in this little session. And we can always get the Chinook. I caught Chinook last time, so we did not get a brown last time. I... Now this is not the biggest brown I've caught here. Believe me, I can tell. Yeah, the brown I caught earlier was much bigger. But he is a fighter. I'll give him that. Oh, don't get too carried away. I'll snap the line. There we go. Little brown trout of 1.85 pounds. I think they're such a pretty little fish. Yeah, the one I got was much, much bigger. Well, anyway, guys, that's a quick look there. Actually, I was able to, like I said, look at those koi. They're just, like, right there. What is up with these two? Come on, guys. Oh, it's going to hit an obstacle. Let's see if I can't get them to bite that. Might not. No. Ah, bigger hook. <laughs> so, these fellas are bigger. <laughs> Look at them. What weird little fish. Hey, little fishies. Okay, let's take it up to a let's take it up to a four. See if I 
I'm just gonna see if he's gonna Yeah, let's make it real shallow. How big of a hook do I need? Let's back off a little bit. I'm kind of kind of wanting to get one of these fellas. They seem to be pretty big. There we go. Aha! I have grabbed somebody's interest. And there we go. He is not a little fella either. Whoa. That was the darnest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Where are you going to go? Flop on land? No, he's going to go into the gravel. Okay, there we go. I can just walk up on this fella. I might catch them both just to see. I was going to say, you saw it here first, guys. guys. Wow. Yeah, he's a nice fish. 27.78 pound koi carp. New record for me. Where's his buddy? There he is. There's a, I think there's another one there too. Let's see if we can get him to turn around here. There's another one. There's two more. Uh, it says smaller. That must have been the biggest one. I don't know. I think this one is bigger. I think it's talking about the one that just swam by. It is a little smaller. Does say smaller hook. I'm be damned. Okay, you'll go down to a four. can't imagine it being too much smaller. What are you guys being persnickety? Nope. There he is. Took him a minute. He just wasn't sure if he wanted it. Kind of curious to see how big this one is. I'm guessing 12 pounds. He's that much smaller. Never caught fish quite this way. This was <laughs> it's kind of weird. Okay, we are gonna just walk up to him. See, there's another one. Hello, buddy. I can just reach up, pick him up. It's a come here, fish. No, he wasn't even that much. 4.94 pounds. Yeah, that one I had was just a monster. Release, huh? I don't know why. Yeah, I'll release him. I'm having too much fun with these guys. <laughs> the walking fish. The damnedest thing I ever saw. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Me with the walking fish. Anyway, please be sure to share and comment and like and subscribe. And as I always say, aim straight, cast far and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye bye.